angry and confused. Brightwood College students say they got word of the school's closing over email. So now I'm trying to find out, you know, what comes now. I'm done, but they're closing, so I don't know what's going to happen. The head of Education Corporation of America, which runs Brightwood campuses in almost a dozen states, says financial issues forced the company to fold and hinted there's enough blame to go around. In a statement, Stu Reed wrote, the Department of Education added requirements that made operating our schools more challenging. Administrators from a couple of Baltimore area colleges showed up at the Towson campus to try and help students. Our Office of Instruction will be looking at all of the programs that are offered by Brightwood College to look to see what they're offering, the courses that they're offering, and to build some articulation agreements. It goes to show that um, there's other schools out there that are accredited that actually care about the education and well-being of our uh, students. According to its website, Brightwood charges as much as $32,000 for a few of its three-year degree programs. With that in mind, the state's Higher Education Commission says it's trying to help students who qualify get a break. It's for those students that have, you know, prepaid or have a contract. Specifics are in each individual's contract that will have to be reviewed. That may be possible based on a new Maryland law passed this year. It requires that certain private career schools put up a performance bond or other financial guarantees to help cover tuition. Now to find out how the state may be able to help you, go to our WBAL-TV 11 app. Live in the 11 Newsroom, Tim Tootin, WBAL-TV 11 News.